Okay, today I'm going to show you another UTUV using manipulatives, and this one is called One More, One Less. And this is a pretty simple concept. The trickiest part is at the beginning of kindergarten, our students aren't always able to read. And so I will present two cards to the kids and show them that we have the same pattern in the cards. There's only one word that changes, and of course the number changes. So just like you would do in your reading groups. So we have two words that we're gonna be focusing on, whether the card says more or whether the card says less. And use those reading skills that you teach them about beginning sounds. When I look at this word, there's an M at the beginning. M makes a sound mmm, so that must be more. This card has an L at the beginning. This sound must be ooh, which is less. So this one is one less than three. Now the other challenging part about this tub is some of your kids might not be able to recognize their teens or the teen numbers. And so if you want to, you can pull the teens out until you think your class is ready for them. Or you might have students who you need to quickly accommodate and only give them numbers one through 10, and then the rest of your class is fine and they can have the teens. Another suggestion I make that I'm working on right now is creating QR codes that will go on the back of the cards and the kids will just scan it and it'll read it to them. And that's gonna be for those kids who need that extra support um, in your classroom. And so um, I really suggest doing that. I'm very excited to put that on the cards for, for a couple of my kids this year who need that extra support. And it helps them to become more independent without you. So I'm going to show you how to complete this activity with your kids and how I explain it. Um, so you'll explain the less and the more. And then we talk about how we read it. One less than three. And I ask the kids, okay, so if this says one less than three, how many, do, how many cubes do I need to have to start with? And we always talk about how we need whatever the number is. We need three. So we're going to pull three cubes. And I tell them, always check by pulling and counting. One, two, three, okay? Now our card says one less than three. So does less mean we're going to take away? Or does it mean we're going to give more? And the kids recognize that less means to take away. So we're gonna take one away. So when we have one taken away, what are we left with? We are left with one, two. So one less than three is two. Now we'll write a two in the box. And I explain kids that they're not to erase their answers. They're going to put their cards to the side so that I can check it later uh, once I'm done with my math groups. Um, and that way you can ensure and kind of see what kids are understanding this and what kids are not. Um, and so you would do the same thing with a more card. And I'm going to do this one just because it's a big number. It's the number 18. So one more than 18. So I always tell the kids, just grab a handful, put it to the side. And you're going to pull and count until you get to 18. And you don't go past 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So we have 18. I don't need these right now. Okay. So this is the number I'm working with. One more than 18. So do I take away one or do I add one? And the kids usually know to add one. All right, now you've added one, but what's your answer? And sometimes they'll say, I don't know. Well, to find that answer, we have to count again. We've just added one more, so we need to know how many are left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And so they would write the number 19. 
your children are struggling. They know they're teens, but they're having a hard time writing them. I have um, hundreds of charts posted around the room for, your, for the kids to always look at. And so a lot of times kids who have this tub, they actually end up going to sit right next to a hundreds chart because it helps them to be able to write their numbers correctly instead of writing, you know, the reversal 91. A lot of times we see that in kindergarten. So they're able to see 19. And the purpose of this activity um, is for kids to start understanding the posi positioning of letters or of numbers so that they know what number comes before and what num number comes after. So understanding its position in order. All right, thanks so much.